Martin here with another video where we're going to be taking a look at how you can build a basic app within Swift Playgrounds. Now, you may have done some learn to code, understand the basic Swift UI syntax, but you want to move on and start creating apps. Jumping over to full fledged Echo can be a little bit daunting, so what we're going to do is start right here in Playgrounds. So, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is set up a new playground. So we're going to go here to the bottom right hand corner, click see all. And what we're looking for is this starting point row here. Scroll across and then you'll find the Xcode playground. That's what we want. So we're going to click on get and it's going to add that Xcode playground to our library. So just before we jump into the playground, we're going to, it's a good idea to rename it. So control click rename playground and I'm gonna call this one my first app okay so let's double click to enter the app now when uh, your playground opened it may have opened and looking like this so if that's the case click on this icon in the top left hand corner um, and what this does is show us the essential fire stru file structure of our project so for now all we're going to be using is this main file here and that's where we're going to be adding our code. Okay, so let's start actually writing some code. The first couple of lines that we're going to write are we're going to write some import code. So we're going to import everything that we need to be able to create our app in Swift Playgrounds. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to import and we're going to import Swift UI. Secondly, we're going to import uh, and this time I'm going to import something called Playground Support. Now as I'm typing, you can see we have kind of an autocomplete section at the bottom. So if I click on Playground Support, it'll autocomplete my line of code here at the top. A really nice useful feature within Swift Playgrounds. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to add a struct and we're going to go struct content view view, open up some brackets, then we're going to go var body some view. Okay, so I am going to try and keep this video quite simple, so I won't dive into all the definitions for each bit of code, but essentially these lines allow us to set up an app uh, view where we can then add the elements we want to see such as text and images. So let's go ahead and add some text. So I'm going to use text, open up a bracket, and I'm going to put my first app. Um, and then what we can do from there is why don't we go ahead and uh, edit the font. So to do that, we're going to use a full stop and then font, open up a bracket, and then I'm going to go system dot large title design dot rounded. And then I'm also going to make my text bold. So these couple of things, the first one will edit the font. So I've essentially got a large title font, uh, which is also rounded and it's bold as well. So at this point, it'd probably be a good idea to actually have a look and see what our app is looking like. But before we can do that, we actually need to add a line of code at the bottom. So what we're going to add is playground page dot current dot set live view and we're going to set that to content view. So essentially what that's letting us do is allowing us to see the view that we've just created when we run our code. So go ahead down to the bottom right hand and click run my code. Okay. So 
you should see over on the right hand side your app pop up so you can see we've got the text that we've added you can also see um, it's bold and we can see that kind of rounded feature on the text as well so we've got the text on we've got that app view all working so why don't we go ahead and try and add an image to our app so to do this uh, we're going to go uh, image and this is where it's actually really good to start using the autocomplete section at the bottom okay because there's a few different ways of um, adding different types of images so we're going to use the autocomplete so we're going to click image we're going to open a bracket and then what we're looking for after that is a UI image so that's this one here okay and then the final one we're looking for is this image icon where it says create an image literal essentially what that does is allow us to just click and then pick um, a picture from our files so as you can see I added that last element and now it's saying where do you want to add an image from so I'm going to go insert from I'm going to choose this Swift PNG here and I'm going to click on open so now if I click on run my code again I should see the image that I've just added in my code. So there you have it. That is your first app. Well done. You've just created your first Swift UI app all inside of Swift Playgrounds. So I really hope that you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video.